Good Lord, my truck needs a bath. Oh my gosh. <laughs> kind of, I like it when it has all that and it's actually mud, but this salt and grime stuff, I'm not so keen on. Hey, I was uh, watching a bit of the news coverage yesterday and um, I, uh, I noticed uh, the day that they started assaulting people, um, the health officials of Canada decided to come out with a new statement. And uh, so I hope everybody's ready because uh, it looks like fear monger number 74,322 is in effect. Um, Teresa Tam is saying, oh, we can't release measures uh, very soon, uh, soon because, uh, uh, you know, we, we could get more dangerous variants, uh, you know. So get ready. There's a new variant on its way that's going to be deadlier and more transmissible and everything else and it's 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 the fear mongering is in high gear now um um coincidence possibly you know it, it, it it's it's kind of funny um that uh the day that you're beating the living crap out of peaceful protesters for bouncy castles um running them over with horses you decide that you're going to come out with a press conference that, oh, we can't lower measures this uh, very quickly because uh, of the situation. But around the world and across Canada, the provinces are starting to drop everything. Around the world, they're dropping everything. Countries are saying, you know what? It's time to live with it. But I got one question. One question in that press conference. How much funding was put towards health care? while they're trying to create scare tactics. Hmm, none. <laughs>